In this video, we are going to create the login method. So I'll comment on this one. This one will be login, login, underscore user. It takes two arguments. It's two arguments. This one will be email. Not email. The name must be, it's not email. It's email or username. So email underscore username. Email underscore user and the second one being the password. Cool. We have not created this method yet, right? So let's go and create it. Right, okay. So now inside your where uh, account, right? Okay. So this one be public function it here. Okay, this one this time around. Okay, so we have this one, we have this one. Okay, yeah, if yeah, okay. So over here, the same thing, we are going to select, check and see whether either the email or the username is in the database, right? So this one will be statement is equal to this. So we are preparing, so we are selecting all from users where email is equal to colon email or username is equal to colon username. So I'm checking to see whether this username right is this username. Or this email, you either have two options to either enter his username or email. So, if this email is equal to this one, or then we have something inside the bind, then this one will be but this and this must be the same, right? So, this one will be let's also make it username, right? Okay, so this one will be dollar statement. Our notation bind um all right so there's it now now we need to execute so this one be dollar user or oh, row bro it's up to you it's equal to dollar statement our notation so this one we want to fetch underscore obj so what am i trying to do i'm checking to see whether this username equal to this email or this username is equal to this username right then if dollar statement so if dollar statement our notation work count is not equal to zero so if work count is not equal to zero meaning containing something so if it containing something what we need to do next is that i want us to check and see whether the password to verify the password so and as this one be the password that is entered which is this one which is this guy the password that we are getting from the database which is row annotation password so if it's true we just return Row underscore user ID. Else, if it's not, then we'll display an error. So let's go and I will display an error message here. We'll display. Else, yeah. So this this one will be we will not this one will be what that's it remove this one this time around for security reason we are not going to give so this one will be username 
and password incorrect. Username and password incorrect. That's it. This is it. Okay. Then what? Yeah, correct. Then the next thing that we need to do if this one does not contain data, this one be what else again? Else. Right. So this one be what? Cool. Okay, so this one will be the same thing. This one will be return false. Return false. Right. And this one, to the same thing. The same, the same thing. Right. And also return false. Okay. So now, let's go and copy something from here. This one. So if the error is empty, then it's true. Okay. So now let's go. So now this is what we are going to do. Okay. okay so comment first comment on this one comment on this one also because from here we have gotten this part so if this thing right we have this one over here check for the error so we have this one over here so if there is error okay so remove this one from here this one contains some errors so when there is an error message right so comment on this one also let's see the right way of doing it okay comment on this one we have this user data. This is what we have. We have display it here. Comment on this one also. Okay. So now we have this one. Let's go and check something. Enter in something away at gmail.com. But before that, let's refresh it. Enter in something here at gmail.com. And also enter in something now click on register okay we are not getting anything which is good but now let's do var underscore dump here and see something dollar account all notation errors <laughs> is it so now refresh it we are getting some errors over here, which is good. So username and password incorrect. Okay. Which is good. So this is what we are going to do. If dollar account or notation pass. Is what I'm trying to do. If you got here, in that it has passed, right? So let's cut it from here and place it here. So if it got here, meaning that it has passed. So if it's not empty, then this one will set it to true, then over here will turn it correct. So over here, we set this one to true, then we turn it right. So we can choose to remove it from here and paste it here. Right. And over here, 
over if this one is true meaning that yeah so this one be what dollar so first we check if uh, not empty right so if empty that's the error dollar if empty form that's for errors so if it's empty and what are we supposed to do cut this one from here Base it here. Remove this one from here. Remove this one from here. Remember, we don't have the user ID, which is true. So this one be dollar user ID is equal to dollar account or notation login underscore user. Mm -hmm. Oh no, we don't even need to do it here. We can do it here. So here will be dollar user ID. Okay, so now else else cut this one from here and paste it here. Beautiful. So what am I supposed what am I trying to do over here? I'm checking to see what and what. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to do. First, we have gotten this one. So if pass, then redirect the user to the index page. Else, display an error message. So right now, if I click on this one, I'll get an error message. Right, saying that password is incorrect. So if any if I enter in something, I click on this one. I'm getting what username and password incorrect. Okay, so now let's try to insert in data. Over here, just direct me to the next page. The reason being that in the register page, the session is being set. From our previous video, we set the session. So why I just comment on this one? Let me go back to the register page. Register page. Register a new user. This time around, you can use your correct email. The full name can be any name at all that you want. And the username, you know, so the password can be any name at all that you want. Okay, so now, okay, so three. So now let me go to the login page. The new user that I registered, which is this one. So I'm using the username to log in, so username. And the password. Okay, so I meaning our logic has worked. But if it's wrong, let's I enter in something which is wrong. I'll get an error here. So as you can see why I'll get an error here. So meaning that our logic has worked fine. Even if the password is correct. And the username is not correct and I click on this one. As you can see why right? we are saying that username and password incorrect and also username on this one. So if I enter incorrect it goes over here and also the same thing over here this time around. And I click on this one. As you can see. So that's it. So now on comment on this one. And co copy this one from here. Go to login. Over here to uncomment on this one. Okay, so now let's indent it well. I don't like how it's being indented. Format. Okay, so there's it. So now. Okay. So. Go to your login. 
copy this one for me and inside the just paste it here okay. let me explain it for the last time so this is what i'm trying to do over here in the account page we are checking to see whether the email or the username exists so if it exists one of them is either the username or the email exists that meaning we have something in our record so if we have something in our record we we'll check and see whether the password that the user exists that is the password that the user entered correspond to the one in our database so if the password that the user entered correspond to the one in our database that meaning that everything is cool to go so do what is over here else display an error message and return false the same thing applies to this one then if everything is okay then this is it but realize that where is it Okay, there is it. This one is a different case. This so one I check to see whether it's empty. If there is no error, then this is it. So over here, over here, so I'm checking to see if there is no error. Then set the pass to true and return the user ID, which is this one. So correct. Okay. So that's it for this video. So everything is working fine. Now, if I try to access the login page, it will not work correct. So now, the next video, what we are going to work on is the error page. That's this page. And continue from there. So, see you in the next video.